Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach J. Damick with another Every Super 7 video. This time we're talking about Every Super 7 Ultimates for The Simpsons. The Simpsons, wow, I cannot believe they're jumping all over the place with these Ultimate figures and they have now jumped into the Simpsons huge, huge catalog of stuff that they can do. And they've started off with some very, very interesting ones, so we'll get into that. But there's five figures in this first Ultimates wave. Usually they've only be done four, so they're really excited about this Simpsons, looks like. So here are the five Ultimate figures that you will be getting in this first wave if you want to do it. Of course they are made to order, so you have to order them in order to get them even produced. So first off we have the Simpsons Ultimate Wave 1 Deep Space Homer. Got the three different head sculpts, got the astronaut costume on, potato chips, the ants in the box there, and different hands as well. He also has that green rod there. There's the slip cover that you see for all these Simpsons and it does say Deep Space Homer on the front there. And then once you take that slip cover off, we'll see the Homer in the package there. Of course, this is just a rendering. This is not the actual figure here yet. Really nice shot of him floating out in space. Again, there is the cover and slip cover together. So really cool. I don't know, man. We'll see where this Simpsons line goes. If, if the, you know, the fans want it, the seven inch scale line, then they'll definitely keep on producing. I think the best face sculpt for me is probably the one um, either where his mouth's wide open where he wants to eat or I just love that shot if he's floating out in outer space and he's got the mouth kind of ooh, ooh. those are really awesome actually they're all great so the second ultimate figure we have in this wave one line is the robot itchy figure uh, this was only in I think one episode if I remember correctly it comes with this nice drum for scratchy an axe the head where you can take off the top and see the uh, mechanisms inside of it, the hammer, the chainsaw, the gun, different hands, and the mallets for the drum. Really awesome figure here. Again, here's the slip cover with the rendering of what it would look like in package one of these days. It's a really awesome looking. So next we have his, his rival robot scratchy here so at least we're getting both of them in the first wave so that's really cool again with the axe the axe with the, the uh, legs on it so it can run around the gun the chainsaw the tag that says bort instead of bart you see the face with the mechanisms off of it so you can see the robotics behind it the extra hands the knife are really awesome looking you see that tail the tail actually has a wheel on the bottom of it too so that's really cool so again with the slip cover the figure in package. And there they are together in a nice shot. So the next one we have is the only regular figure, uh, which is Mo, the bartender. Again, three different head sculpts. Got his telephone, his apron, a flaming drink there, olives, a bunch of different hands a panda crawling out of a box and his rag to wipe down the glasses in the bar so that's really awesome looking again with the slip cover and the package itself and then the fifth figure in wave one the last one is the poochie poochie's got his surfboard his skateboard his guitar his fanny pack Three different head sculpts, different hands. Pretty cool. The fanny pack does come on and off too, it looks like, so that is awesome. Got the cut-off shorts, the green shoes, leather jacket, here's the slip cover, 
and the rendering of what it looked like in the package. So again, very, very deep cuts in my opinion for this particular line. Uh, Mo is the only one to me that really stands out, but they're all really cool and nostalgic. So here's all that wave one loose. And here they all are in package with their slip covers above them. So here's our tees for wave two. Got a bird's nest there with some junk up in it and then a Crustios box. So we gotta know definitely what the Crustios is gonna represent, right? So first things first for wave two is our Bartman figure, slipcover and in package rendering. And here he is with his cape and his cowl, three different head sculpts, comes with his dog, multiple hands, a skateboard, a slingshot, a comic book I guess, Radioactive Man, and then that bird's nest that we got teased. And notice that hand sculpt that he's got right there has got some money in it, so we can buy that comic book. A really cool uh, utility belt there that he's got, looks like he's got a video game controller on it. Pretty cool there. And then since we're talking about superheroes, let's go with Duffman, slip cover and his figure. You can see the clouds on the packaging there with the blue sky. And there is Duffman, again with three different head sculpts, one open mouth and one closed mouth smiling, one with a Duff label over his face, got him a can of Duff beer, his number one finger there multiple hands and his dog there with the shirt on and the glasses and again with the belt check that out that's pretty cool so what are y'all thinking so far wave two let me know and wave one then we got hank scorpio got his Cool looking flamethrower and backpack there, multiple hands, world's best boss, and three head sculpts. Mouth closed, mouth wide open, and grinning or grimacing, whatever you want to call that last one. It's pretty cool again. And then like I said, we kind of got the tease. We figured we were gonna get it, but here is Krusty the Clown. There he is in package. Got everything all stuffed up in there. Comes with his monkey on skates with a cigarette. Crusty got a, another head sculpt up there with a cigarette in the mouth. Mouth yelling with the eyes closed and one wide open like he's laughing. Green pants. Pinkish purple shirt with a blue bow tie. There's his Crustio's box, his robe, microphone, hand with a cup with drinking there as well. A pie and other hand sculpts there as well. Big old red shoes. So definitely one of the best here so far in the Simpsons wave is this Krusty the Clown. So as you saw with my previous images there, pre-recorded with the sound, but I did put some little X's over top of the fact that we are not getting the cigarette version. So the monkey will not have it, the cup will not have it, and Krusty's mouth will not have it. So look at the right hand side, and you'll see the new head sculpt there. The monkey having nothing in his hand, and he's just got a regular cup of some kind of alcohol, I'm assuming. So there you go with that new image. And him kind of sad he's not getting a cigarette this time. So there you go. That is our Crusty the Clown from Wave 2. So there is that Wave 2. Just four figures this time where they had five in Wave 1. There they all are with all their accessories. So what are you guys thinking so far about the Ultimates? I'm thinking they've gone very vague with these. I would have thought with wave one, two, three, four, they'd have kind of gave us the whole family in the regular clothes or something. But instead we got, you know, Bart and his Bartman and 
Homer and his astronaut. So the only common ones we have so far are Mo and Krusty. So there's that whole wave two. Got the dog twice. There they all are in package. Slip coveralls on top. So here we are with our little tease for wave three of the Super 7 Ultimates Simpsons. I choo choo choose you. Happy Valentine's. And we think that this is probably Ralph Wiggum given a infamous Valentine card to Lisa Simpson. It's a nice little tease. And so here is wave four. Four figures, two of them that are gigantic and the two of them that are smaller. Finally getting a basic figure there. I'll talk about that in a second. Got your book, How to Cook for Part 40 Humans. And I can't tell what the other one says yet, but I'll tell you here in a second. So there we go, we got Kodos. These larger figures are $75 each versus 55. The Alien from Riggle 7, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing these, is definitely not here to eat you or the citizens of Springfield, but he would certainly like to cook for you this 8 inch highly articulated ultimate figure of Kodos as seen on the Simpsons comes with interchangeable heads and tentacles tips with a variety of accessories including a ray gun and how to cook for 40 humans cookbook we may be unsure of his intentions but what we can be sure of is that he that you need to get this made to order the Simpsons Ultimates figure of Kodos before it returns to Rego Riggle 7, an endless void of unordered collectibles regret. Accessories, two interchangeable heads, one angry head, one laughing head, six interchangeable hands, two neutral hands, one salt shaker hand, one dinner tray hand, one ray gun grip hand, and one cookbook grip hand. Got one ray gun and one cookbook. There you go with that cookbook and the tray. And another shot of that picture. There's the slip cover and the rendering of what it's going to look like in package. So here we go with our C, Montgomery Burns. Finally, another general release figure. I think each wave has had kind of one. You had Moe in one, you had Krusty in another one. Here's your third one. Uh, evil billionaire is the boss every worker drone loves to hate but you would love this seven inch scale highly articulated ultimates figure of montgomery burns which comes with interchangeable heads and hands as well as a variety of accessories including bobo blinky the one trillion dollar bill and other items from memorable moments in the show this made to order the simpsons ultimates figure mr burns will make an excellent addition to any collection three interchangeable heads neutral smiling and screaming head Eight interchangeable hands, two open hands, two wedge hands, two excellent hands, and two gripping hands, one bobo, one magazine, one trillion dollar bill, and one blinky. There he's holding the bear. Another shot of those hands and everything. And the slipcover and rendering of what it'll look like in package. Here we go with our Ralph Wiggum, as we thought of with the tease we got of that card. Got two different heads, neutral head and ice cream head, five interchangeable hands, two open hands, one glue stick hand, one glue jar hand, one banana hand, one valentine card, one computer, and one do not hug sign. There he is with his glue. And with the slip cover and rendering of what it looked like in package. And our other alien friend here, Kang. Two interchangeable heads, one angry head, one laughing head, five interchangeable hands, two neutral hands, one knife hand, one fork hand, one ray gun grip hand, the Maggie alien, the ray gun, and the earth capital sign. Earth capital, how about that? There's your slip cover, there is your rendering of it in package. Again, these are 75 for these aliens. There's all four figures in this wave three and all their accessories. All four loose. Ready to wreak havoc. All four in package with their slip covers. And there's all of the figures loose in the Super 7s Wave 1 through 3 so far. 
and all in package. So guys, what do you think? Is Super 7 really doing something cool here with this particular Ultimates line with the Simpsons? How far can, can they go with this? Are you willing to uh, put in for this as well? Let me know in the comments, guys, which one is the most exciting for you uh, in this line? Are you, are you enjoying the fact that it's so nostalgic and it's so wide cut there? Or would you rather just be the basic guys like Mo? Let me know in the comments, guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.